Let's move now to Nigeria. The country has launched a multi-million dollar cash grant program, and it's to boost one million small-scale businesses in the country. Now, those with an annual revenue below $3,000 will be targeted, with each receiving about $30. Several of these businesses have been struggling to cope due to inflation and the effects of government policies, such as, of course, the removal of subsidies on petrol. Here's Tassim Akende with the details. Sarah Selfa runs a fast food restaurant in Jos in central Nigeria. A challenge, she says, because of the soaring prices of many food items. She says the cash grant, though modest, is appreciated and she hopes to make the best of it. If you are able to manage it well, you will yield more than expectation. You must start from somewhere before the money will now grow. According to Nigeria's Bureau of Statistics, the country's annual inflation rate rose to 32.2% in August, compared to 25.8% for the same period last year. Some government policies, such as the removal of subsidies on petrol, has led to a surge in transportation costs and prices of items in the market. The situation has taken a toll on businesses, with many people not able to afford several goods and services. The Association of Small and Medium Enterprises in Nigeria, NASME, says about 10% of the 40 million micro, small and medium enterprises in the country have shut down since May last year. The government says it's hopeful about the plan, believing the $30 million cash support to 1 million small businesses will give them a timely boost and prevent more from falling. Economic analysts have commended the move, but called for transparency in the disbursements of the funds. How does the government generate this database of those people that actually need this fund? I think that should be visited too, so that we, the, the, the cash gets to um, those people that actually will use this money. The government says it is ensuring transparency in the process and that the country's small and medium enterprises development agency, Smedan, is liaising with state governments to identify eligible beneficiaries through a transparent technology-based system. Smedan says so far the grant has been disbursed in 14 out of the 36 states in the country with a promise to ensure businesses in each state of the federation benefit from the initiative. The government says it has also commenced repairs on its dysfunctional refineries, with three of them projected to resume local refining of petroleum products between this year and next. That's projected to reduce reliance on imports, thereby enabling more businesses like that of Sierra Selfort to grow. Tessim Akende, CGTN Jules.